Hello, welcome. Today I will be talking to you about performing rooftop extraction using the Reach and Grow tools in Erdos Imagine and the vector cleanup operators found in Imagine Objective. Uh, here I have a project and you can see I've collected a number of rooftops already and I thought it would be good to just show you um, how I'm doing this. So let's jump over here to this little new section I'm working on. I'll zoom in. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm using a region grow to extract each facet of the rooftop. And the way that I do this is I have my image data. Here we have an ECW image. And then we have a, a polygon shape file data set open. Uh, we are going to, on the vector tab, enable the editing so that we can edit these features further. Here you will see this tool called Grow, and this allows you to insert a polygon element into an active layer by growing a region of spectrally similar pixels from a seed pixel location when you click in the image that is in the view. So a good thing to have open is the Properties tool, and this is used to kind of help um, guide the process. And then what I'm going to do next is click on just grow, and you can see that my cursor turns into a small plus sign. And the way this works is I will just go in here and click on the rooftop in the image, and it will grow a polygon. A couple things to keep in mind on the options tab, you should have include island polygons as unselected. Otherwise, you can have holes within your polygon, so having this unselected will prevent there from being holes inside your polygon. Um, you can see here that, that my first click you know, didn't quite grab the edge like I thought it would, so another tool here to be aware of is the Spectral Euclidean Distance. And if I bump this up to about 18 for this particular image data set, you will see this update, and you can see it delineates a much finer edge. So now once I determine my appropriate spectral Euclidean distance, I can go up here and I can click the lock tool and then click the grow tool. And now I can simply click on each part of the rooftop to collect each facet of the rooftop. And I can just keep going like this. And again, you can see that we're just extracting sections of the rooftop. Could just go down the neighborhood here and I could collect the rest of these. So, um, so I've collected a number of these so far, so I'm going to um, <clears throat> disable my editing, save my changes. So I save my changes, I'm going to right click and just hit save layer just to make sure it's saved. And then I am going to kind of zoom out here a little bit so you can kind of see the area that I'm working in. Um, the next process is to we want to clean up these vectors. We want to merge them together, and we don't we want to do it in a kind of an automated process. So let's close, let's remove my shapefile layer. So now what I'm going to do is clean up these vector polygons using Imagine Objective. Imagine Objective is meant for a feature extraction object-based classification and it has both a raster domain and a vector domain to work with. However, you can just use some of the tools in Objective to do um, the project work you need. In this case, we're just going to use the vector cleanup operator. So we'll just do a start here and stop here. So I have my vector polygons open up in my Objective workstation along with the ortho imagery that I was performing the region grow process. So the first thing you want to do is combine all the different facets of uh, polygons into one for each specific rooftop. So underneath the vector cleanup operators, I've selected start here and stop here. And we're going to add a process called dissolve. Now we're just going to hit the plus sign. It adds it to the workflow. Uh, you can see that there are some red X's here. One of the first things we have to do is identify the input. Objective is expecting the uh, the shapefile from a previous process. So we will click the folder, 
and we will grab our rooftops that we've been performing the region grow with, open that up. So now a management objective is going to perform a dissolve process on those rooftops. And just another setting here, um, we're just going to process a, use a pixel size one by one for the dissolve type. And we'll go up here and we will click the lightning bolt and wait for the process to complete. Okay, the process has completed. We can click OK. So now, instead of having multiple polygons representing each roof, we now have a whole polygon for each roof. Uh, you can still see there are some issues. We have some holes here. Um, so we have to deal with that. So the next step, underneath the vector cleanup operators, we will select Island Filter. And we will add that to the workflow. Now once we add a second operator, we can simply hit start here and stop here to process each operator one at a time. So we're just going to use the default settings and what should happen here is these holes will be filled in. So we'll click process and it's starting. We'll wait for it to complete. And it completes pretty quickly. So now you can see the before has, we have holes in here. If we go to island filter, now a lot of these holes have been filled in. Still, they're not by any means perfect, so we can add another operator to help clean this up further. So I will select the vector cleanup operators. Again, this time we are going to add something called outlier clipper. Now, if you don't know what one of these operators do, you can click on the help page. And here, this will give you an explanation of what the outlier clipper does. Basically, we're trying to fill in these little holes or cut off these protruding parts of the polygon. And there is a concave and a convex setting, and you can kind of see what the results, you know, we're shooting for. So let's add the outlier clipper to the workflow. And I think what we're going to do here, based on what I can see, I'm going to add a concave process to start out with. And we're just going to bump this up to the middle. I'm going to call about 0.5. And again, we'll hit start here and stop here and we'll hit go and let the process run. The process is complete and you can see a lot of those gaps, if you look at the island filter the step before, if you look at some of these little concave areas of the polygon, those have now been filled in. So I guess a good idea now would be to run something kind of simple here. So now we're going to run the generalize. We'll add that. And generalize is meant to just eliminate the unnecessary vertices in the polygons. So, you know, these are looking pretty good, but we're going to run a generalize on this. So we'll just run a start here, stop here on generalize. We'll just take the defaults, hit go. So it runs the process pretty quickly. Um, you know, it's still not perfect. I can still see a few things here. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to once again select the outlier clipper, add it to the workflow, do a start here, stop here. But this time we are going to use convex. And we're going to bump this up to about a point uh, six. You know, you always have the option to kind of tweak it as you go, but. Uh, we'll try a point 0.6, we'll run the process, and what we're going to try to do is cut off, what we're going to try to do is cut off some of these little tails that are kind of protruding out. So let's see what happens. There we go, it looks like we have removed a number of these tails, if we look at the before, the generalize, and the after. So we're, you know, if we take a look at our first step here, we have a lot of holes, and we're, we're coming a good ways. So, you know, I guess I could finalize these polygons and the way to do that is add orthogonality. And we'll do a start here, we'll do a stop here, and with orthogonality, you know, we don't want it to become too orthogonal, so we're going to bump it down to about a point two. Uh, this is the before, so this is the data set that's going into the orthogonality operator. So we'll go ahead and click on it. 
And there we have orthogonal polygons. So this is kind of the final product. You know, we started off with these multiple polygons per rooftop. Uh, we filled in the holes using the island filter. We've run outlier clipper, a generalize, and another outlier clipper, and then finally completed on orthogonality. And those new buildings I just collected, you can see how well those have been extracted. Well, I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.